Hello and welcome to the mill. This week we are taking a look at hole one early birdie. So let's go ahead and talk about hole one. We have a par one course, which means we should only have to go through this once. I guess you kind of consider this the gimme of the course. The realms we're using are Charterstone, Scythe, and Tapestry. And the rule changes are we're only, only going to play seven turns. So we're going to cross out the dice spaces for two turns before starting. So let's go ahead and do that. Just like that. And our objective here is to score at least eight stars. Now, if you're playing on hard, you're going to go for nine and a half, but I am not playing on hard. We're playing to have some fun here. So um, that typically means winning a solo game. So let's go ahead and get to it. Roll one. All right. So we have a six and a five. Let's write that down. six and a five um so because really our only objective here is stars i'm going to be trying to optimize how we can get stars um let's see how to best use this six and five i'm going to try and, and not do too much uh you know really kind of thinking hard on this but let's go ahead and start and try and get some resources we'll start here in charterstone we're going to cross out the six get ourselves a coin here and we got to write five in that box. So that was our first dice here. Let's go ahead for five. Um, you know what? There's actually a very good option for us here. Let's go ahead and cross out. Let's use this five right here. And we're going to go ahead and gain a heart. But the reason I use that five is because I just gained a coin over here. This is going to give us quick access to a star. So let's go ahead and mark off this coin. We spent that and got ourselves a star. And yeah, not too bad for a first turn. Get a star out on the first turn. I like that. So um, just in summary, we put the six right here. Wrote the five in there, got ourselves a coin that we then immediately spent by gaining a heart and that bottom row action. So off to a good start, I think. We'll see. Um, turn two. Let's see what dice we're working with. All right. Um, a five and a one. A five and a one. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I mean, we could immediately get a star in Charter Stone, right? Um and if we're prioritizing it, maybe. Let's see what our other options are. Um, you know, I, I kind of set out before I begin this. I said I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prioritize stars. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do Charter Stone. We'll mark off that five and get a star there. And let's see. So for the one, oh, I didn't even write it down. Five and a one. Let's try and remember and do these things in order, shall we? Five and a one. So we got that star and... Hey, I see an opportunity here. Let's go ahead and cross out... Um, we're going to do the one here. Inside again. To get a coin. And then we're going to go ahead and mark off that heart spend that to get another star in Scythe. Not too bad so far. Turn two, uh, a couple of stars. It's, uh, I guess, you know, that's probably why this is a par one. Um, let's see what we get here on turn three. Okay. A six and a three. I mean, one of the things about this solitaire game here is you can see we're already we're already nearing the halfway point. Um, so you do have to really focus on what the priorities of that hole are, what the objectives of that hole are, so that you can make some good decisions. Um, turn three, working with a six and a three. Um, 
Okay. So looking through these, um, I see another opportunity for a star. So let's use our three this time, and we're going to gain a pumpkin. Circle the pumpkin there, and you guessed it, we are going to go ahead and do the bottom row action there too. Spend that coin, and put in another star there. Um, not too bad, it's good use of that three. Let's go ahead and see about this six. Don't really have the option here. We can't use it because we already used it here inside. So in Tapestry, let's try and figure out, I'm not going to spend too much time trying to figure out where the best place to go is. I'm just going to do this. Six is a big shape. Let's go ahead and do one, two, three. I don't want to color in too much of that because I want to still see the the stuff that's behind it. Um, so, yeah, um, that's what I'll do with turn six. Not going to be a, a two star, or I'm sorry, turn dice six, turn three. Um, yeah, it's not going to be another star that we can pick up. That's okay. Let's go ahead and see what we got for turn four here. All right, a four and a two. Four and a two. Um, <laughs> I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I see another opportunity for a for a point here or a star here. So let's go ahead and use this four here in scythe. Scythe continues to be one of my favorite things. So get ourselves a coin right there and we are going to spend that pumpkin and cross out a pumpkin get another star so not too bad we got to get to eight so far we've got five not too bad at all um so let's see here that was using the four um and let's see here for the two I could get a pumpkin and write a box in. Um, and I already used scythe. Do I want to use two here? I could. I really, I think I have a hard time making anything a tapestry because of how to get the stars and you know, you have to fill a row or a column. And so I, I feel myself drawn right or wrong to trying to get the stars elsewhere because they feel a little bit easier to get we'll see if this plays out um but that's kind of where i'm at right now so this two i think i'm going to use it in charter stone get a pump get a pumpkin and we're going to write a four in the box and yep we use both the four and the two so we are on to turn five. The stars, I mean, we did get one that turn, but I don't know. I had that one two-star turn, and now it feels like that should be something I can do all the time. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Turn five, we have a six and a two. All right, six and a two. Hmm... Well, you know what? My, my eye immediately goes to Scythe. Um, however, um, yeah. Well, I can definitely use the two there, right? So I'll cross off the two and get a heart. And then the six, in there, I got a pumpkin to use, so I can cross that off. Spend this pumpkin and get another star. Scythe is delivering for us, let me tell you. Um, so we got a heart out of that, and we spent a pumpkin, but we got a star. All right, so now we have to deal with this six again. Um, can't use it in Charter Stone, so I am going to have to use it in Tapestry. But the six takes up a lot of real estate, right? So... 
So let's go ahead and do this. If you see something better, you're probably uh, probably screaming. You can let me know. Um, but this does give me a coin because we filled in this box right here. So let's make sure we get that and mark that off there. Not a bad turn. It got us another star, but we're getting towards the end here. We got turn six in front of us. Let's go ahead and see this. Roll a five and a one. Five and a one. So if I go five, then I can't use it in scythe. I could, let's see, the five, that's, oof. I don't think I can use that either. All right, so I'm gonna use it in charter stone. I'm gonna cross out the number five building, get a coin, and then I have to write a one in the box. Let's do that there. Um, so that means I'm using the one in tapestry so i guess you know what i guess i'm gonna go ahead and put it right here which would then give me a pumpkin try and get some resources um so just like that, we are at the end of the game. Let's see what we got here. Oh, snake eyes. One and one. Let's see what we can do with that. Um, we need we need two hearts. <laughs> or I'm sorry, we need two stars to win this game. So um like you know what we can use a one right here and that fills up this right here which is good for a star and is also good for a heart as well so we'll get our heart we'll get our star we need one more which we can get here in charter stone we'll cross off the one get a pumpkin and then we write one in the box. Oh, maybe I should have crossed out. Um, you know what? That's that's what I should have done. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pretend. Back up, back up. Let's erase that. Um, I saw the star, and then I ended up doing the wrong thing. I wrote that in. Um, what I would do instead is I'll go ahead and use that one dice to cross that off, get another star, which is what we needed to win. So technically we have our eight there, but we have some extra resources here and we can use them. Um, let's see. We're going to have to use them as coins though, because we're going to try and make another, another die. So let's see if. Let's see here. We can... What's going to make the most sense here to kind of get us another... Okay. All right. So we're going to make a three die. Um, we're we're going to sp spend these three to make a three die. And we're just going to use this one right down here. We're going to cross that out, spend a heart, and gain another star. We're going to fill up that scythe card and we finish the game here with um we got five or we got six seven eight nine stars and then remaining resources is two so that is a final score of 9.2 which is enough to beat hole one early birdie but you know if we had played hard level we would have lost because that was 9.5 and we had ourselves 9.2 and 
you know, to be honest with you, I don't know how we could have done any better. I'm sure, I'm sure we could have. Maybe as a dice rolls, I think we did pretty good with what we had because we were, we were scoring these stars pretty consistently. But, um, yeah, I that is that is whole one of Rolling Realms Solitaire Mini Golf. Uh, let me know if you saw anything that maybe I should have done a little bit different. You would have, you know, maybe you would have kept that uh that one on the pumpkin for some reason i don't know um you still would have won you still would have won um i think it would have been in if we got that resource 8.3 if we still did that so um i think it still would have worked out either way but um that is you know how i wanted to do it um so yeah the the solitaire mini golf for rolling realms continues to be one of those it's a nice quick play i mean it's going to be between seven and you know nine rolls i haven't got all the way to the end of the course so maybe there are some courses that are um, a little bit longer i don't know but um, in any case it plays really quick and it's it's a lot of fun to try and figure out how to manipulate these dice you know whether you're you know adjusting the dice to with the pumpkins whether you're using the hearts to you know gain another pair or a copy of a dice or you know just you know basically being able to you know use the dice to or the the coins i'm sorry to uh gain more dice and you know mess with those uh rolled dice um themselves um it's a real fun puzzle little beholden to the luck if you if you do really i had a game where i just i just rolled really terrible so i was a little bit sour that game not for not at the game or anything just like that but you know kind of cursing my luck but uh anyway that again was hole one of a solitaire mini golf um if you enjoyed this let me know maybe I'll, I'll film a few more playthroughs um but yeah that is all i have for you this week thank you so much for joining me and until next time take care of yourselves and each other thanks for watching bye